didn't see either. It's too busy going to the speed of light in this uh, pretty sick unit here. Check this out. This is a 2008 club car. It's the Wild Rock Edition. This thing is about to get some serious modifications. This is uh, Simon's golf cart, Chelsea's stepdad. So he bought this and he sends me a message. He's like, hey, I need you to pimp this out for me. So we're gonna pimp it out. So it's got brand new batteries. Upgraded the battery cables to one aught zero gauge wire. So it's got all the juice. And so he ordered a rear seat, got the rear seat on. Now, what else does it need? What, what do you think this thing needs? Well, it needs a six inch lift, which will be here tomorrow, and some wheels and tires. Check these puppies out. Ooh, oh dog, look at that. Oh my God, oh my, shit, man, this is gonna look good. Six inch lift, wheels and tires. We're gonna take that little, that's gotta go. We gotta put a bigger light bar on there. Probably gonna put some, uh, some underglow on it. Just like the buggy's got. I'm not sure what else. He wants to get it wrapped, I know that. So that'll be pretty sweet. It's gonna be deadly. I've never been so excited about a golf cart in my life. Nice and quiet, turn the key on. Boom, got your little battery gauge there. Reverse. Oh, I almost forgot. About to put my Crocs in uh, race mode here. There we go. Oh, look at that, it's a buggy. And here we go. Woo. So, eventually, he wants to make this thing really fast. So, we're going to be making it really fast. Done some research. It's a lot of money to make it fast, but he wants it fast, so. Let's back this thing up, and we'll, uh, that's forward. That's back, and we'll get a little, uh, little walk around of this hell of a unit, you know? Got the wild rock here all cleaned up and rinsed off. I cleaned underneath and everything and I went and got some uh, some light bars. He wants like a 20 inch on the front and then he wants like a 20 inch under here for reverse light. A slim 19 inch, another slim 19 inch. Oh my God, almost dropped it. Both wiring kits for the light bars and then we got this uh, 10 strip LED, it's kind of the same uh, same thing that's on the buggy. All right, Simon stopped by. He told me that to take out all the blue panels, take them all off, he's sending them away to get wrapped. Should be wrapped, he said, within the next two days. So we're gonna take a time lapse and we're gonna rip it apart.
started taking it apart farther than I needed to. I was like, whatever, just keep taking it apart. I'm gonna clean it, may as well give it a good clean. It'd be a lot easier to work on, like putting the lift on and everything, when this is all clean and... So yeah, I'm gonna pressure wash this quick and then start putting on some lights and stuff. Clean, remember how dirty that was? Scrubbed it all down, gotten all the little cracks. It was so dirty in here, I don't even know how those pedals fit. There, working from a completely blank slate, which is awesome. And in the battery box, this was filthy. Got it all clean. Oh, Murphy, pooping. Oh, yeah. Yeah, give her. Anyways, I would like to get the lift in. So then when I run all my wires and stuff, I know kind of what to stay away from because there's lots of different parts for this lift. So... But it's supposed to be delivered today and I'm patiently waiting. So maybe I'll mount the light bar and kind of get that stuff kind of rough, rough mounted, roughly fitted. So I got this front light bar mounted on. I uh, didn't wire it in yet. I want to, uh, I think I'm going to do the underglow next. A whole bunch of little, uh, little lights. I think I'm going to put two underneath there and then three along the bottom on each side and then two at the back. I got uh, half the underglow on. I got this side on and the back. I'll show you how I did it. I drilled two little holes in the aluminum frame, ran zip ties through, and then I did three on the end, or three on the side, sorry. And then one there. One there, hit all the wires. Wires all ran up on the frame rail. They're not zip tied up yet, but. So that side and the back, I just gotta do this other side and the front. All right, the GoPro isn't that good in low light, but you gotta see the glow of these lights. Crazy. It looks so good. Ooh hoo hoo. Looks like a damn spaceship cut. So I put the, the brains back in, just slid it in there, cleaned up all the wiring. So I just pretty much just plug it all back in. relay is for the light bar on the front and this relay is for the light bar on the back so as soon as you click it into reverse it, that light bar will turn on so instead of having it on a switch just soon as soon as it goes into reverse it'll turn on so blind everyone <laughs> these came in the mail so this is uh, the DC to DC converter so this takes uh, 48 volts, what the, the golf cart runs on, it takes 48 volts and brings it down to 12 volts so you can run light bars, lights, different accessories, a stereo or whatever. So this one's a 240 watt. So like each light bar is 54 watts. And so the back one's only on when you're backing up. And then the LED lights, they only pull like 20 to 30 watts if that so we still have room to spare with this one so I think I'm gonna mount this here in the, these wires so this this uh, yellow one here I had to extend them all but the yellow one that's your output so yellow one will go to this positive post here for this little fuse bank that I bolted here and then the negative will go I just made a little negative post here so <clears throat> he has room so like this fuse here will be for the front light bar this one will be for the rear light bar say this fuse will be for all the underglow 
and then so he still has another fuse left to to put what if he wants to put a stereo in here or something or some other lighting he can do that he's got an extra extra spot there which if he wanted to add more than that it's not hard to upgrade that little fuse fuse panel so let's get that uh, wired in there side trim pieces put back on got the rubber mat back in this piece in so pretty much just that whole shell is getting wrapped black just goes right on top of there it's all wired up I guess that's not working right now the light bar is not plugged in <laughs> yeah it's pretty sweet looking a lot cleaner than it was ooh look at that look what came in the mail look at that ooh this is the, the Excalibur six inch A-arm lift kit for these club cars. So I was gonna follow the instruction manual. I'm usually a guy that, you know, usually doesn't follow them. But you know, there's like, there's, there's no pictures. I'm a, I'm a picture guy, I like pictures. Maybe we won't follow it. Maybe we'll just kinda go by the seat of our piss flaps, you know? Our, our pants, that's what I meant. Let's start ripping this thing apart. Now we're just waiting for body panels, but it looks good. I really like this lift kit. It was super easy to put in. Nice and powder coated black. It'll look a lot better once you get black panels on. Looks awesome. Do you like it? Drop a comment, tell me if you like it. Come on. How can you not like that? That is sick. Alright you guys, thanks for watching today's video. Thank you Simon for letting me tinker around with your golf cart. I hope you like it. If you haven't liked this video, like it. Don't forget to subscribe, comment if you have any questions. If you guys want anything done to your golf cart, let me know. I'll do it. Super easy. Alright you guys, have a good night.